But in the pass, this is normally meant the option play. Let's see what third and three will be here today. Here comes the option, and a flag is down. Gargas hit at the line of scrimmage, went forward a couple of yards, and got very near his first down. I don't think he got enough, but hold the phone on the penalty flag. Emma with maybe ideas of blocking one here. They have everyone up on the line. They're moving on the snap. Here they come after Bumgarner. His kick is away. Shelby is moving up. Caught it on the 37. He was hit. Loose football. It's recovered by Alabama back on about the 25. It's second and 13 now, and here comes Brown moving out into a split uh, position, the end, as Newsom moves in on the other side, and Todd wants to throw. Looking back, he's going down the sideline, and it is caught across the midfield stripe down to the Auburn 45. Ozzie Newsom holds on at the Auburn 43. Bruce Evans made the play defensively. Todd on third and short yardage with a long count here, maybe checking off. Now he's going to give to Calvin Culliver. He was hit at the line of scrimmage, but twisted away and got his first down. Kim Sellers fired right on Culliver that time, but Culliver was able to spin forward. Opening kickoff was unable to convert the first down. And here's Todd running the option. He turned up. The other people went the other way, and he still made good yardage out of a broken play. Richard Todd moved all the way up across the 25 near another first down. The one play. Here's Todd on third. Quarterback sneak. First down Alabama in at the 20. All right, here's first and 10 Alabama on the 20. Wishbone with a wide out right. And here is a give to Culliver. Culliver broke a tackle, got to the 15, to the 10, down the sideline to the 5, and out of bounds at the 2-yard line. Culliver finally pushed out of bounds by Mike Fuller on the 2-yard line. Second and goal at the 3. Todd dropped the ball. Auburn has recovered, I think, on the 5. Let's wait and see. They are signaling Auburn's ball on the 4-yard line, recovered by Ken Burnage. Richard Todd dropped the snap from center. Still think it was 41, but okay, we'll give it to King. Here's second down and seven. And this is Gargas giving to Neal inside. He's across the 10, 15, 17. First down, Auburn. Third down and five. He's the only wide out. Every, two tight ends. And here is Gargas back to throw. Ta uh, Philip Gargas is going down the field. He's going for Gossam. Gossam had it tipped away by Washington at the Alabama 38-yard line. All right, here's Gross with the snap. It's a high snap. Bumgarner made a great play on the ball. Got it, got his kick away. Fair catch, Shelby. He's going to take it on the 42-yard line. And what a super play Clyde Bumgarner made to get that away. Let's see what Gary Rutledge is going to do. He's going to take and give it to Calvin Culliver inside the midfield. The ball popped up in the air, but he caught it and fell forward to the 48-yard line. And that is very, very close to a first down. Alabama on the Auburn 45, and Rutledge fakes the fullback. Pitch back to Shelby, turning the corner. Out to the 40, knocked down on about the Auburn 38-yard line. First down play. Long count. Here's Rutledge faking the fullback. Kept it on the option. Turned up. Got a couple and was knocked down. And he lost the ball. Now a flag is down. The ball popped loose. It may have been after he was down. I believe an Alabama man recovered it in any case. The backfield stays the full wishbone. Here's a Todd standing up. Threw it out in the flat for Shelby. At the 40. At the 35. Down the sideline to the 20. To the 10. To the 5. And he's in. But there's a penalty marker down. He's in the end zone, but hold the phone on the penalty flag at the 28-yard line. Let's see what the call is. Shelby went all the way. Now, the officials went up with their hands, indicating it could be interference against Auburn. Let's see which way the signal is going. We'll try to keep our glasses on the referee, and the penalty is against Auburn. Jackson is now in there with McIntyre behind Gargas, and here is a give to McIntyre inside. 25, 27, 28-yard line. Slot formation right, and Gargas is going to roll it right, running the option, pitch back to Jackson, trying to turn the corner. He's in trouble. DeBose and Ricky Davis are out there to knock him down for a loss on the 26-yard line. Shelby is deep. Clyde Bumgarner standing in punt formation on his own 11. Snap is high. Bumgarner dropped the ball. Alabama's got a man after him. He kicked it uh, just a couple of yards. It's going to be caught over there and out of bounds on the 14-yard line. That ball was not as badly snapped as the first one. Bumgarner got to it. Wide right. Wishbone behind Todd. He's back to throw. He's being chased by Lanier. He's got his pass away. Nobody there. Incomplete. There wasn't a receiver anywhere close around the 10-yard line. Robert Fraley will hold. 36 yards into the wind. The kick is up. Kick is hanging up there. Did it make it? It hit the bar, I believe, and went through. Very, very close, but it just got through. So the field goal of 36 yards is good for Bucky Berry. And with timeout on the field, the score is Alabama 10 and Auburn nothing. Philip Gargis 
has the snap, begins to McIntyre, broke in the open, 35, 40, 45, out to midfield, and down he goes. Cedric McIntyre popping quick on an opener, knocked down at the 50 by Ricky Davis, the safety from Bessemer, Alabama. First and 10, and here is the give to McIntyre, and he's into the 45, great balance, on down to about the 42. Cedric McIntyre was hit at about the 48, looked like he could easily go down at the 45 wide to the left side and Gates is in the right uh, flat here's a give to Mitzi Jackson he broke through 35 30 28 yard line Mitzi Jackson into safety man Ricky Davis and here is Philip Gargas he is rolling the option he's going to try to keep it himself he fought his way up to the 20 he's going to miss his first down by just a half yard center Gargas is going to run the option to McIntyre but I think he got it it's going to be close It'll depend on the linesman and where he has put his foot down. It is an Auburn first down. Gossam is wide to the right side, and here is Gargas inside Mitzi Jackson. 15 down to the 10-yard line. Mitzi Jackson straight ahead on a quick opener. And Gargas is going to give it to McIntyre. He's into the 6-yard line. First and goal to go. Woodrow low, and Rick Davis will make that Allen Fizzatola. Allen that strong front again. And here comes Gossam on the option. He gave it to McIntyre. Touchdown, I think. Yes, touchdown, Auburn. They were very late in going up to the hands. And here's second down and seven. And now here goes both Billings, Lee and Brown, wide to the right to form a slot. And here is the give inside to Culliver. He broke through the 20, 25, out to the 30. And Fuller made a good open field tackle on him at the 35. Second down, eight yards to go, Alabama. And here is Todd on the option. He's in trouble from Eddins. Turns up field, fumble the ball. Auburn is recovered on the 40. Auburn's ball as Todd fumbled. Liston Eddins and Rusty Dean were both in there on Richard Todd. And Kenny Burks will be the running backs behind Gargas on first and 10 at the 40. And here is Neal inside, 35, down to about the 32-yard line. And this is the gift to Neal inside. He's across the 30s into the 28. It is an Auburn first and 10. Rick Neal to the 28, first and 10. Defensive play by Leroy Cook. Inside the Alabama 20. This is Gargas to McIntyre. 15 to the 10 to the 8-yard line. First and goal to go Auburn. And Ricky Davis made a touchdown saving tackle for Alabama. And here's Gargas on third and goal, and he's going to throw. He's rolling to his left. He throws back across the middle, overthrows Gates incomplete. Gates was open, but he overthrew him at the end line. It'll be fourth down and goal to go. Clyde Bumgarner to hold. Here's the snap. Chris Wilson moves on a ball. It's blocked. It's blocked by Alabama, scooped up, and tackled on about the 22. They took a little extra time getting to it. Cedric McIntyre made the tackle, along with Bumgarner, on the man who picked it up. I believe it was DuBose, and a field goal blocked at the 22. Alabama will take over with 51 seconds. On the 22, Rutledge is the quarterback, and he gives to Willie Shelby, 25, 30, and he's tripped and finally goes down across the 40, out to about the 41. Willie Shelby nearly got away, but he was tripped there by Mike Fuller. The clock at 36 seconds, and here is a draw play to Shelby. Shelby's out to midfield, spins. Flynn hits him. He spins away and is now knocked down finally on about the Auburn 46 or 7-yard line. The time, Auburn was trying to call timeout to let Flynn get off the field, but the clock went down to zero, and now Coach Bryant is coming out and talking to one of the officials about something. Well, what his problem is, but in any case, the half is going to end on that play. Auburn did attempt to call a timeout, it looked like, as the clock was running down in the last two or three seconds towards zero. Across the 39, but shy of the 40, and they're right on the 37. And Todd is going to give to Culliver, and he is going to be hit hard by Bruce Evans. But where the linesman is marking it, I believe he has it. Auburn, however, is in a return formation with Mike Fuller deep. Auburn is not attempting to rush the kicker. They have only four men on the line of scrimmage. Here is the snap to Rod Nelson. His kick is away. It's a low line drive. Fuller is moving over, and it's going to be out of bounds. Fuller could not handle it. They kicked it out of bounds, and the referee is going to bring him back upfield and mark it at the 30-yard line. Some gates are in the slot to the right side. Gargas is going to roll right on the option. He wants to keep it. Would roll low, pulled him down from behind, short of the first down at about the 39. Third and three, they have Newsom wide to the right side. From the wishbone, Todd running the option, pitch back to Billingsley, turning up field, 30, 35, Billingsley down the far sidelines, 45, 50, and out of bounds on the Auburn 45-yard line. Randy Billingsley finally caught by Bruce Evans. Randy Billingsley, first and 10 Alabama on the Auburn 45. 
Ozzie Newsom is wide right, and Richard Todd is going to keep it on the option. He turns up. He's to the 40. He's to the 38, and down he goes. But that's a quick seven yards for Richard Todd on the quarterback keeper. And Todd is going to give the second back Billingsley. Here he goes again. 30, 25, first down. Alabama on the 24. Two backs into the hole before they hand off. Shamoon is wide right, and Todd fakes to Culliver. He keeps it himself. Here he comes on the option. He turned inside, down across the 20 to the 15, down to the 14. He made a good fake on Jim McKinney. He faked as though he were pitching to Billingsley. McKinney went for Billingsley, and Todd kept it inside of him and got all the way to an Alabama first down on the Auburn 13-yard line. He faked it and then uh, didn't pitch it, took it up for another first down. First and 10 at the 13, and here's Todd to Calvin Culliver. 10, he broke a tackle, touchdown. He broke a tackle on Jim McKinney at the 10-yard line, and that was all she wrote. Calvin Culliver in at 16 to 7. Monday night on many of these same stations, the Tigers open with South Florida in round ball. Here's Gargas rolling the option, coming to the near side, cut up field, 35 to the 40. He's cutting back, being caught from behind. He broke a tackle in midfield and finally is down on the Alabama 45. A great, great run by Philip Gargas. Third down and six at the Alabama 41. Wide outs either side. Gargas wants to throw. He pumped once. Now he's going deep for Gossam. He got behind his man down the sidelines. 10, 5, touchdown Auburn. And they suckered Alabama on a fake. They suckered Alabama as Gargas pumped the ball once, and the Alabama man broke up field. Gossam then took off down the sideline. Ricky Davis had a shot at him at the five, but Gossam made a move on him and scored, and it's 17 to 13. 17 to 13. And what is this? A penalty flag? We didn't, I don't see a flag on the field anywhere, but they're bringing it back. You know what they're gonna call? They're going to say that Gossam went out of bounds and came back in, and he can't do that. If the ball's not in the air, it's my understanding if the ball's not in the air, he can go out of bounds and come back in, but it looked like he was forced out of bounds. He came back in bounds, and that's going to bring it back. All right. Here's Bumgarner in punt formation on fourth down. That's a loss of down, fourth and six. Bumgarner punting under a rush. He hit it very, very high and short, and over to the sidelines, out of bounds, and they're going to mark it. Good grief on the 31-yard line. Alabama will take over on the 31. That is a 10-yard punt. If Gossam nicked the line, at the very most, he may have nicked it. You can hear the crowd. They're very unhappy here. Here's a pitch back to Shelby by Todd. He's upfield to the 40, 45, and down he goes all the way to midfield. Willie Shelby on the carry. Bruce Evans made the play. A first and 10 for Alabama. Here is Richard Todd rolling the option. He pitches back to Billingsley. Billingsley is going to turn a corner at the 45 and then is hit very hard at the 42 by Mike Fuller. On the 42, it's second down and three to go. And Todd is going to give it to Billingsley, second back, and he is across the 40 and knocked down as he's got his first down. McKinney hits him along with Rusty Dean at about the 38-yard line. A little shake is all you need. That isn't what you always get. Here comes Todd. Pitch back to Billingsley on that option again. He's to the 30. He's down to about the 28. There goes a late hit. Man piling on top of the pile for Alabama. Buddy Pope. No flag, of course, and it's going to be an Alabama first down. Third down and goal to go on the Auburn one-and-a-half yard line. Todd gave it. No, he... Gave it to Culliver, and he was knocked down at first. It looked like the ball got away. But Culliver was knocked down on about the two. It'll be fourth and goal, and let's see. That's the end of the third quarter. The score is Alabama 17 and the Auburn Tigers 7. He has the wishbone. He has a wide out. Newsom wide to the right. And here is the play. Todd is rolling out on the option. Todd is in trouble. He's caught on the four, and Auburn will take over first and ten. Richard Todd is knocked down by Bruce Evans for one. And that was open to doubt. So it was not a matter of leaving the field of play and coming back in. Here's second down, and here is uh, Gargas rolling back. He's going to throw. He's going downfield for Gossam. It is intercepted by Ricky Davis on the 38. He underthrew Gossam again, and I believe Gossam had beaten Ricky Davis, but when he had to come back for the ball, third and a long three for Alabama. Gary Rutledge. Wideouts either side is going to roll the option. He was hit, got it away on the pitch to Taylor. 
He is rolled out of bounds across the 30. They mark him on the 28, and that is enough. Where they mark him out of bounds, it is enough. A good play defensively made by Mike Fuller. Here they are out on third down and five on the Auburn 23. Rutledge is going to fake the cover. Here he comes on the option. Now the pitch nearly intercepted. James Taylor was caught back there and is going to be caught for a loss on the 25. And who came up the field? I think it was Rusty Dean. He nearly intercepted the pitch out. Holding will be Robert Fraley, the junior from Winchester, Tennessee. So here's Alabama on a field goal attempt. A 45-yarder by Bucky Berry. It's up and it's going to be short. And into the end zone. It was straight but very short. Third and three and a half to go. And Philip Gargis is going to run the option. No, he's going to throw it now. He's through the hands of Gossam incomplete. At the 37, Gossam was open, could not hang on. There's Bumgarner in punt formation. Shelby is deep. And again, Alabama has 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Alabama's been going after the kicker all day. Here is a good snap. Here is Bumgarner's kick off the side of the foot. Ah, uh, hit the good bounce across the 50 and out of bounds on the Alabama 46. With Culliver, Billingsley, and Shelby behind him. Newsom is wide left. Todd fakes to Culliver. He's back to throw. The rush is after him. Tellyard. Tellyard ran over the block of Sylvester Groom after a 27-yard punt by Rod Nelson, or 26-yard, let's make it. Auburn on the 27. Here's Gargas on a draw to McIntyre. 30, 35, down the sideline at the 40, 50, and out of bounds on the Alabama 47. Ricky Davis pinned him to the sideline and pushed him out of bounds. Cedric McIntyre on the delay. Second down, 10 to go on the Alabama 47. Gargas is going to give to McIntyre. Fumble! Who got it? Gargas got it back. Gargas got on it, I believe. Perhaps McIntyre got it back at the 45. One thing about it, it had to be either McIntyre or Gargas because nobody else there had a white shirt. This is third down now and eight to go at the 47, and Gargas is back to throw. Gargas is scrambling. He's in trouble. Now he quickly gets a pass out in the flat to Mitzi Jackson. 40, 35, down to the 34. What a great play by Phil Gargas. What a great play by Gargas. He seemed to be thrown for a loss. But it is first and 10 Auburn now, and here comes Gargas on the option. He's in trouble. This time he's going to be caught. As blitzing through there for Alabama, and nobody picked him up on the blitz, was Charles Hanna. The tackle, he got him back on the 35. That's minus two. 509 remaining. This will be a 50-yard attempt by Greg Gillis, and he'll be kicking into the wind. So a very long attempt by Gillis. It's a fake. Bumgarner is up to throw. He throws the screen back across to Gilligan. Gilligan at the 30, 25, down to the first down at the 21, I believe. A pass from Clyde Bumgarner to Jeff Gilligan. Uh, a fourth and nine situation is a tough one to pick up against a good defense. On the 15-yard line, second and four to go. And here is Gargis to Mitzi Jackson, 10, 5, and first and goal, Auburn. Right inside the five, a good play by Ricky Davis. Third and goal to go at the two with 2.55 remaining. In the game, Auburn needs a touchdown badly. Gargis faking to Mitzi Jackson, followed him in, touchdown Auburn. Gargis faked to Mitzi Jackson, went behind him for the score. Ward and Neal behind Gargis. Two-point conversion try. Gargis is back to throw. He's away, under-throwing, intended for Neal at the goal line, incomplete. And it's 17 to 13, a four-point game with 247. And you can bet that Alabama will be looking for the onside kick. 247 on the clock. Here is Gillis. He kicked it deep. And it's kick, it's sailing very well over the head of stock into the end zone for a touchback. And Al Alabama will have it on the 21st and 10. 247. Of course, no time running off. And Gusty, we've talked about the pressure on the Auburn defense. Here it is right now. Third and eight, and Shamoon is split about three or four yards to the right. Third and eight. And here comes the option with Todd with the ball. Todd is trying to get wide. 25. He is down at the 27-yard line. It'll be fourth down and three for Alabama. And here we go with Gossam wide to the left side. Gargas with McIntyre and Jackson. Here comes the end around the ball. Who's Alabama got the ball? They tried the tight end around, and Nugent could not get the ball. As Gargas tried to give it to Nugent, and who was that who peeled off the end? I believe it was Mike DeBose, and Alabama has the football on the 44-yard line, first and 10. All right, here's Todd kneeling back to the 45 of Alabama, and that should do it because there are no timeouts remaining, and at 12-11,
the clock will count on, count on down to zero, and Alabama will have a victory here over the Auburn Tigers, 17 to 13. Coach Bryant has started out on the field. There's the clock to zero, and Alabama has won the game over the Auburn Tigers. And the game is going to end right there without another play, another snap of the ball. 